Good morning, dear friends. And I greet all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for his faithfulness and mercy and because of which we are brought into this new day. Each day is a gift from God. And so let us glorify our God by living for him and for his glory and serve him. And let us therefore, before we begin this day's activities, open our hearts and our minds to the voice of God through his word. As we meditate a very few minutes upon God's word that the Lord has laid upon my heart for us today. And so the passage on which we are going to meditate is found in the Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 7 verses 36 to 50. This paragraph talks about a sinner woman who was met by the Lord Jesus Christ, transformed and changed her life, who in her gratitude and in his praise of Jesus Christ came in a public place while he was seated for dinner in a Pharisee's house where she poured a very expensive perfume on the feet of Jesus and then on her head as well and then stooped down and wiped his feet with her hair. This is the incident and let us uh, meditate on this incident and or this passage and find out what does love involve a sincere what does genuine selfless love involve you know there is a universal demand by the church what is that demand that more and more of the people of the church must do greater things for God, for Jesus Christ. All churches want their members do more for the Lord. That is our cry. All desire to see among believers more good works, more practical um, and a more uh, obedience to Christ's command. That's what uh, we all like to see happening in the churches and the people in the church. But the question is, what will produce such a labor of love? Nothing, absolutely nothing, but selfless love. There will never be more works done for Christ till there is a more hearty love for Jesus Christ. And so we need to examine our love for Jesus, asking ourselves the question, how much I love him? And is my love sincere from the heart, out of love? We need to ask this question in order to confirm our own position for the Lord Jesus Christ. And um, our labor for Christ will be in proportion to the love we have for Jesus Christ. And a grateful love is the secret of our doing much for Jesus Christ. And I hope that you are listening these sentences very carefully. The penitent woman in this story is one of the best examples of such love which produces much labor of love. God desires that any labor or any work we do for him 
must be born out of our sincere love for him so that it will be a labor of love and she showed more honor to the lord jesus christ there than the proud pharisee who invited him she stood at his feet behind him weeping she washed his feet with her tears and she wiped them with the hairs of her head and she kissed his feet and anointed them with costly perfume and the holy spirit has chosen to record this incident to teach us this very valuable lesson that only a heart which is filled with the such grateful love would do much for jesus christ and so let us look into this matter of what does a loving god involve five things are involved in expressing our love for god number 1 a sacrificial offering and that is what we see involved here in this incident what she brought that that day with her was a very very expensive perfume the perfume was of a highest quality and this woman did not go to the bible college to uh, uh, and she was never familiar with the doctrines to argue whether tithing is an old testament thing or a new testament thing she knew one thing which many scholars of today do not know what is that one thing that her love for jesus must give and give beyond measure beyond measure according to luke chapter 6 verse 38 and that is should be the standard of our giving to the lord or serving god if we genuinely love jesus christ that passage reads like this give jesus own words give and it will be given to you a good measure pressed down shaken together are running over look at the adjectives used for the act of giving will be and if we give in that way you will be given and uh, the blessing shall be poured into your lap in this way and when she spent the money for the perfume she wasn't even thinking of any return it is estimated that uh, the perfume she bought was very expensive and uh, someone has calculated she must have paid at least 10000 us dollars but the bible only says costly perfume It is for such givers that Romans chapter 8 verse 28 works. What does that say? And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him. Those who love him. Because only a grateful heart can produce grateful and labor of love and so may the holy spirit give us that strength that desire 
that longing in our hearts to show our love for Jesus Christ by doing uh, the best that we can with our whole heart so that it will be a labor of love. And the second thing that we learn, second lesson we learn, what involves in loving God, a surrender of all to Jesus. You know, that box represented her total life, her past, also her future. She lived in sin and she used to apply the perfume on, her, uh, on herself and on her bed that she would use to lure her customers because she lived in that kind of sin. But how about now? On this day, it was not to lure her customers, but it was a surrendering of her total life to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And nothing was on herself or on her bed. And she was not looking out for customers anymore. There was only one desire in her heart. The one who set her free from the bondages of sin and wickedness. That person must be exalted and must be served and must be loved in the best way that she could. And she gave sacrificially. That is the that is, that, is, that is the lesson. Nothing on herself, but all to Jesus. Don't we sing a song, sometimes I surrender all. You know, my friends, sometimes I feel we Christians not only can tell lies, but we can also sing lies. For example, when we sing this song, I surrender all, all to Jesus. I surrender. Is it really true? How many of us have surrendered our, our, our total being as well as everything we have? Very often we reserve certain things for ourselves. And so when we sing that song, let us also examine is it true? Have I really released everything in its totality to the Lordship of Jesus? And the third lesson we learn, what involves love, emotions. She was weeping and she was weeping all the time. When was the last time you wept in the presence of the Lord? And for the Lord. And my friends, when you meditate on Jesus, His grace, His mercies, and whatever He has done for us, may our hearts be so filled with that, that love, that emotion, that it will be, it will be expressed by our tears and don't uh, don't fight back those tears and the tears are no sign or mark of weakness tears can be the mark of affection and the love expressed and fourthly what does love involve brokenness she was on her knees and on her hand as she stooped to wipe his feet with her hair and remember who Jesus Christ truly is the Bible says 
he as the lord heaven is his throne and earth is his footstool you know my friends we are creatures of his at his footstool and let us not to feel any uh, too proud to kneel before him to fall prostrate to before him and lastly and fifthly what does this kind of love involve humility and intimacy now how did she express her humility and her intimacy with jesus a woman's a woman's hair is his glory so says the bible now in oriental um, custom according to the oriental custom a woman will never let her hair fall in the presence of anybody and everybody he lets her hair fall only in the presence of her husband and her father to show her humility before them and her intimacy with the husband and, and father my brothers and my sisters and especially at us the sisters how much you love now there are this kind of women in the bible both in the old testament and in the new testament we don't see them doing spectacular things work outside so that it is all publicly acknowledged but look at this woman a simple act and yet filled with respect reverence fear adoration affection intimacy and love all poured into one bottle of a perfume and as she opened the box the whole room was filled with the fragrance of that perfume let our lives be of uh, wherever we go let us leave the fragrance of jesus christ behind us live this this is genuine love expressed in humility and in her action and you can imagine that she was on her forms as she knelt down stooped down to wipe his feet with her hair and may the holy spirit this mo- this morning open your eyes to see all oh, the affection flowing from her to jesus christ and this was a great lesson for that pharisee who did not do even the common usual courtesy to welcome jesus and may the lord god almighty help you and me today that we will live our lives showing our love and our appreciation to the lordship of jesus by honoring him in this manner we don't consider our, our dignity and how great we are no in his presence we are nothing but in his presence we are his worshipers willing to serve god bless you as you give yourself in totality to serve the lord and i pray that today you shall find the strength and the grace be granted to you and wisdom to show forth and never ashamed to show your affection for Jesus Christ even in public she didn't care what people thought but she had just one desire to honor her master let this be our desire and i pray that you will find the joy and the lord expect you 
to do this for his glory and as you give yourself to him may the holy spirit fill you and guide you and show you how you can magnify him father in the name of jesus i pray that you grant to the listeners of this meditation grace and wisdom and the power and the anointing of the holy spirit and enough love within their hearts to show forth that love through their actions that others may see and glorify god in heaven in jesus name amen this is a great day therefore live and face this day with joy and with expectation amen